Thank you all for coming and thanks for Bass Pro Shop for providing the opportunity to give this speech here. One early morning over 35 years ago, I was awoken by a strong authoritative voice by saying, Hey, Christopher, wake up, I responded. If it's still dark outside, Dad, the fish won't even see the worms. Well, come on, son, let's go or I'm leaving you here. Why? Come on, son. Reluctantly, I placed my feet upon that wood sandy floor in that cold northern Michigan cabin. Not knowing the next thing was the cold shivering walk out to the walk, to the unheated outhouse. I then returned to the sprint and hurried inside to bundle up in three layers of clothes. A t-shirt in case it got hot. A flannel shirt in case it warmed up. And a sweatshirt in case it got a little bit warmer than my numb toes. It was 5 a.m. in northern Michigan mid-October. We've all heard the saying that the early bird catches the worm. While I embarked on a journey that proved otherwise, the fishing had become the fourth largest activity in the United States, according to the National Sport and Goods Association. After my pre presentation, you will learn how popular fishing has become compared to any other sport. The economic impact of fishing in America and the diverse popularity of fishing among women. According to the National Shooting Sports Foundation, fishing outranked football, baseball, and tennis as one of America's favorite pastimes. Fishing ranks as the second most popular water outdoor related activity in the United States compared to swimming, that ranks number one. Fishing attracted 33.1 million individuals 16 years or older in 2011. Freshwater fishing ranks as one of the top five participating sports in 11 states. As the chart shows here, fishing is the number one participation sport in Kentucky, Louisiana, South Carolina, and furthermore, South Carolina and South Dakota are twice as more likely to do any freshwater fishing. And in Idaho itself, is four times more likely that you're going to be doing some freshwater fishing compared to the national average. Now where, now where was Michigan in these statistics? I was fishing in the wrong state. I should have went back to bed, but with those kind of statistics, it is no surprise that fishing impacts our economy. The national economic impact of fishing in one year by anglers alone is $19 billion on boat, rentals, bait, and other equipment. 18 billion on food and lodging. And during fishing trips, 5.5 billion on licenses, membership, and other resources, according to the U.S. Wildlife and Fish Services. Guess what Angler spent 1.1 billion dollars on? No, it wasn't their equipment. That cost 5.3 billion. No, not food at 4.3 billion. Not even lodging at 2 billion. The correct answer is bait. That's right. 1.1 billion on bait. And I can honestly say that not one dime of that 1.1 billion dollars was contributed by my father because we dug up our own worms. Besides spending a lot of money, anglers spent an average of 17 days on the water. And during those 17 days, they support not just bait stands, boat makers, boat and gas stations, local motels, groceries and convenience stores, or of course sporting goods such as bass pro shops. Among those anglers is a new type of angler, We're growing in numbers, and that is women. There's 14.3 million women ages 7 and older that fish. That more than any participating of jogging, basketball, volleyball, softball, golf, or tennis. One such angler featured in an outdoor women's magazine is Abigail Lynch. This is Abigail Lynch. She's a doctoral student at Michigan State University and for System Integration and Sustainability, which was recently awarded the American Fisheries J. Francis Allen Scholarship, in which established to encourage women to become part of the fishing and fishing professionals. The award was established in 1986 to honor Allen, who pioneered women involvement in the AFS in the field of fisheries. Furthermore, fishing represents 
9% of the U.S. female population, which figures to be about 32.4% of all U.S. anglers. And those are all women. It sounds like my dad should have embraced diversity and taken my sister and not me fishing so she could get an education. The facts do not lie. Fishing is the fourth largest sport of choice, and according to the Fish and Wildlife Services, helps to support the United States economy at $76 billion a year, coupled with women as a new angler in the sport. I would, I would have never known these facts or been able to share them with you today, and I never got up or went back to sleep that morning 35 years ago. Instead, I became a part of a growing sport that contributes to the well-being of my nation. And if I get lucky, maybe one day, I will find a good woman with a nice bass boat to do a couple of fishing. Thank you.